हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर थर्टीन ऑन आइगन वैल्यूज एंड आइगन वेक्टर्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस व्हाट इज कैले हेमिल्टन थियोरम एंड वी हैव सीन हाउ टू कैलकुलेट पावर्स ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स यूजिंग कैले हेमिल्टन थियोरम इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड आउट इनवर्स ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स यूजिंग कैले हेमिल्टन थियोरम सो वी डिस्कस द मैथड of finding inverse by kelly hamilton theorem with the example we are asked to find out inverse of this matrix using kelly hamilton theorem so first we find out characteristic equation of this matrix so as we know characteristic equation of a matrix is given by determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 and uh, we can obtain this matrix a minus lambda i by subtracting lambda from the diagonal and keeping other entries as it is so by subtracting lambda from the diagonal uh, we obtain this uh, matrix a minus lambda i and we are interested in the determinant of this matrix so we expand from the first row we start with 1 minus lambda So one minus lambda into determinant of this two by two matrix. So two minus lambda into three minus lambda minus zero minus this one into nine into three minus lambda minus zero. So that is minus nine into three minus lambda and plus two into determinant of this matrix that is 0 minus 5 into 2 minus lambda that is minus 10 into 2 minus lambda equal to 0 now we multiply these two so we obtain 2 into 3 6 minus 2 lambda minus 3 lambda that is minus 5 lambda plus lambda square and this becomes minus 27 plus 9 lambda Minus twenty plus ten lambda equal to zero. And after multiplying these two, uh, we obtain six minus five lambda plus lambda square minus six lambda plus five lambda square minus lambda cube. And this is going to be nineteen lambda and minus forty seven equal to zero. So we can rewrite all these terms. first we consider the terms with lambda cube there is only one term then terms with lambda square are two terms 5 plus 6 5 plus 1 that is 6 lambda square and 19 lambda minus 6 lambda which is 8 lambda and constant term is 6 minus 47 which is minus 41 equal to 0 and if we multiply this whole equation by minus 1 we obtain lambda cube minus 6 lambda square minus 8 lambda plus 41 equal to 0 so this is the characteristic equation of given matrix so we apply kelly hamilton theorem and kelly hamilton theorem says that we can replace lambda by matrix a in the characteristic equation so replacing lambda by capital a in this equation we obtain a cube minus 6 a square minus 8 a plus 41 i equal to 0 now we are asked to find out inverse of the matrix so we multiply both sides of this equation by a inverse so first term is a inverse into a cube that is going to be a square Here we will have a square a, in, a inverse into a square that is a a into a inverse that is identity matrix and i into a inverse that is a inverse equal to zero. So therefore, forty one into a inverse is nothing but negative of a square minus six a minus eight i that is minus a square plus six a plus eight i. so therefore we can write a inverse equal to 1 divided by 41 times this matrix minus a square plus 6a plus 8i so to find out a inverse we have to find out 
first a square and then we have to consider addition of these three matrices so first we calculate second power of a so a square is a times a so we multiply a with itself so as we know we can multiply in this way first row of the first matrix into first column of the second matrix so it is 1 into 1 plus 1 into 9 plus 2 into 5 that is 10 then first row into second column so 1 into 1 that is 1 1 into 2 that is 2 and 2 into 0 that is 0 then first row into third column so 1 into 2 2 1 into 0 and 2 into 3 6 similarly we can consider second row with all the three columns and third row with all the three columns and we obtain this uh, entries as the product of two matrices so after simplifying we obtain a square equal to this matrix and now we find out what is this addition of these three matrices so we substitute value of a square but here we require negative of a square so we multiply each entry of a square by negative sign plus 6 times matrix A so we multiply each entry of matrix A by 6 so uh, and we write down 6 times A here so this is 6 times matrix A and plus 8 into i that is identity matrix is multiplied with 8 so we obtain diagonal as 888 8, 8. and after adding all this this is minus a square plus 6a plus 8a and a inverse is nothing but 1 by 41 times this matrix so we multiply each entry of this matrix that matrix we have written here by 1 by 41 and this is the inverse of given matrix so this is another method for finding inverse of a matrix in earlier lectures we have discussed gauss jordan method of finding inverse of a matrix and here uh, we have finding uh, we have found out inverse of a matrix using curly hamilton theorem so you have to work according to the given question if they ask you to find inverse using gauss jordan you have to apply gauss jordan method and if you are asked to find out inverse using Kelly Hamilton theorem then you must go by using Kelly Hamilton theorem so here in this lecture we have discussed how to find out inverse of a matrix using Kelly Hamilton theorem uh, we have first written characteristic equation and then by applying Kelly Hamilton theorem we obtain this equation in powers of a so to find out inverse of a matrix we have to multiply this equation by a inverse and then uh, we will write down the formula for a inverse after simplifying uh, this equation okay, so this is very easy method for calculating inverse of a matrix so this is all about today's session i hope you like this lecture thank you very much